All right, guys, it's Gonzo here. Before we start the video, I do want to say thank you guys so much for the support. I've been getting on the videos lately. Uh, the first video that I did actually got like almost like 400 views, which is like kind of crazy for having such a small following. So super stoked on that. Also, be sure that if you are liking the videos and to hit the like button and subscribe because there's a lot of people that just watch videos and like the content, content but never actually subscribe. So if you are one of those, please be sure to subscribe. It means a lot. It helps me out. It's a little kind of motivation type of thing. So if you are interested in what I do, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. So see you guys in a little bit. Go meet up with my friend. He has a 335i N55. Currently in the daily because the Subi is getting wrapped right now. So I'll see you guys over there. We're going to do a little review on his car and uh, see what's up. And then we got this little gay automatic, but it's a daily, so it is what it is. But uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. The boys N55. Fast pass. Hey, this is basically like almost full bolt on, right? It is full bolt on. You're just not on E, huh? No. You, what do you need? Like just bigger injectors or what? Nothing. Nothing? Buy the tune. Just buy the tune. That's it. And how much is that? Fifty bucks. Bruh. <laughs> but then shit starts breaking more than it should. <laughs> Clean ass red interior. Hmm. Ooh. Damn, son. Alright, Mateo. So, 335i, yep. stage two. Two plus. Two plus. So, that, what is that? Downpipe? Downpipe, intercooler, VRS of charge pipe, BMS intake. And that's it, I think. And you're running a 7 inch? 7 inch intercooler. 7 inch intercooler. That's fucking fat as fuck. <laughs> you had to cut into your bumper, right? Yeah. yeah. To trim down the inside for it to fit. And then you have the M MHD tune, right? MHD, so you're running it off like the OBD port yeah. and then. Yeah. Damn. Alright. Alright, so a lot of people think that this engine is like pretty strong. Probably one of the stronger like Beamer engines for sure, right? Yeah. So sure. would you consider like this engine? I know like N55s are less powerful than n 54 since you said how like the N54s are like forged pistons and everything yeah, from factory, from factory. and they have twin turbo instead of one single but would you consider this like our generation's like 2j technically when it comes to making power oh for sure for sure Same exact concept in line six with the turbo yeah more so n 54 since they got twins twins and it's easier to make power but yeah um how come you went with the manual shift or the paddle shifter instead of the uh, like six speed? Just easier to yeah, find, right? It was, yeah, easier to find. It's really hard. When I was looking, it was really hard to find this low mileage 335. Mm -hmm. That was a good price. And yeah. manuals are pretty much super hard to come by. Yeah. So I just kind of settled. For it pretty much worked out for me. Yeah. I, in a perfect world, I would have a manual though. Yeah. Anyone would, but it's still fast and you still gap most people yeah. <laughs> with full bolt-ons yeah, which is cars. crazy uh also one thing that most people will probably like look at and say oh this kid probably like spoiled brat and he, his parents probably bought him this car but that's pretty much just like old heads complaining and shit so yeah. pretty much you worked for this car right no yeah dude i remember like i was driving my parents truck in high school and i got a job like halfway through the year and every day after school dude, i was working like 30 40 hours a week while i was in high school getting out of school and working it's like minimum wage like i got this car on minimum wage bro yeah and like the only thing my parents helped me with was credit they just co-signed for me that's it yep. i had the down payment i bought the car i make the payments on it yep see so like everything's pretty pretty much like obtainable if you just work for it so there's a bunch of people i would probably say like there's uh, probably a lot of people that look at you whenever you're driving probably like think Hello. like oh some spoiled kid Hello, you know man. and a nice beamer but they don't really know the whole backstory but Hello. Pretty crazy for it to be your first car as well, huh? Yeah, like, first car I bought, for sure. Yeah. Any, have you had, like, any significant problems with these cars? Not anything crazy, dude. Just regular, like, maintenance stuff. Like, water pumps going out on the 335 platform. Yeah. Super common. Yep. 
um, I had my radiator stop started leaking for whatever reason. I had to get a new one of those. That's not really too common. That was probably the biggest thing that I've had a problem with. The radiator? Just the radiator. But you would say like most cars, it's just maintenance. If you keep up with maintenance, it's reliable, yeah, sure. right? I've never thrown a check engine light on this car except for when I blew my stock charge pipe off. Yeah, so nothing crazy that, which is good because you know, femurs have the rep for like having expensive parts when something breaks. So obviously with maintenance, everything lasts, but all right. All right, what's going on guys, Gonzo here. So uh, just wanted to record my friend's 335i since my CV is gonna be in the shop for at least two weeks. So I kind of had to have some video ideas. So I decided to record his 335i. I also have another pal who has a six speed 335i. So I might ask him if he wants to do a video on it, but basically full boltons, uh, all he's missing is E85, which like you heard in the video would be pretty cheap mod for him to do. But obviously, once you start adding E85 and other components, shit starts breaking. So it's kind of unreliable, but it is what it is. So, like I said, if you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to subscribe. Please be sure to like and, you know, just comment down below what your favorite car is. Uh, like I said, thank you guys so much for the support. You guys have been kind of killing it, and I absolutely love it. So if you guys do enjoy the videos, please be sure to hit that thumbs up. Peace out, boys. Have a good day.